thank you so much for joining us. Delroy Berryman, ex-NRL player for the Broncos. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you're heading into the main event fight against Mitch Enord. It's going to be a, a barn burner of a matchup. Uh, both of you know headgear. Both of you have been around boxing for quite some time. Yourself, I believe, you the strength and conditioning coach for Liam Parrow. Is that right? How long have you been doing that? Yeah, well, um, I spent a few years with Paro and uh, I've done a few, quite a few camps uh, with him and Alfie, um, you know, preparing them sort of to where he's sort of at now. I haven't I haven't been with him for uh, the last year and a half now, but um, yeah, it was it was awesome, man. It was a great experience, um, and this is what kind of sort of got me sort of hooked in that boxing world, um, being around it. Um, as a as a trainer, uh, it's in speech, you, know, you, you learn to understand a lot about a fighter, um, which sort of got me hooked on it and wanted to sort of, you know, eventually get in the ring. Yeah, hundred percent. So seeing it at that level um, must be pretty inspiring and must give you a pretty high bar to try to train to when you're in camp. I would I would think. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Like being 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 there with uh, Liam, you know, right through the camps. Uh, he, he, you know the intensity. You know what's required, uh, whether it's a training session or it's a sparring session. Like you know, you, you see it firsthand um, what it takes. Uh, but it's an amazing experience. I'm, I must say, um, if you end up using that uh, that that background music as your walkout song, that would be very intimidating in a strange way. <laughs> Should I turn? <laughs> Hey, I've, I've had kids, I've had kids be running around me all morning. Oh, I don't you're, know what's playing around here. You're a good mate. I was just thinking, oh wow, seeing Delroy walk out to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, that would be um, it'd send a chill up my spine, mate. You never know. <laughs> oh, don't give me any ideas. <laughs> well, if you do and you get your hand raised, I want I want full credit. <laughs> All right, done. Uh, you've seen, you, you've probably seen a, a little bit of Mitch boxing, maybe, have you? Um, yeah, I uh, I went to, I went and watched, uh, you know, the novice titles in Brisbane um, mm -hmm. uh, four weeks ago, three, three, four weeks ago. Um, I I I wanted to get in on on the on the show as well on the, on the tournament. I was, I was a little bit too late to sort of sort of register, so I, I went and, I went and watched. You know, I was doing a, I was doing a little bit of training with uh, Paul Briggs, mm -hmm. um, and he had a, he had his uh, his, his boys fighting, so I went and supported some of the the boys, and then um, yeah, and then Mitch was fighting uh, also, so I, I watched uh, Mitch fights, um, which was you know which was good for for myself uh, to see uh, a little bit of. Uh, live footage. And, and, and what did you make of him as a fighter? How do you how do you think you match up well? Like, where do you think you have advantages over him going for twenty nine? Uh, um, oh, look, mate. He, you know, definitely. Uh, he likes to. He likes to. He likes to stand and bang. He likes to. You know, sort of come for, walk forward and, um, uh, and 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 throw punches. You know, directly in front. Uh, that's what I noticed. Um, in terms of uh, movement and athleticism, I think this is where I'm gonna sort of come into it a little bit, a little bit more. Um, with the, you know <laughs> my agility and just using sort of more boxing sk uh, boxing skills. Um, but you know, at the end of, end of the day, you know, we're in there to also throw down. It's a it's a it's a, it's a short sprint, three two minute rounds. Um, yeah. So you know, we can't be too technical. We don't have too many rounds to play with. To feel out, uh, to feel each other out. So it's, you know, we're getting in there and trying to establish uh, the uh, personality as best as we can, as fast as we can, and then cracking on. Yeah, a hundred percent. And and with it being the main event, you know, being a packed out Melbourne Pavilion, um, you know, uh, close to three thousand people in there. How are you? How are you anticipating that feeling? Do you think it's going to be a little bit daunting on the day, or do you? Or, or do you think it's going to be something that you know you're used to having having played sport and stadiums filled with people before? Oh, mate, no, nah, I'm, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm going to have family and friends there. Same, same with, with, with with Mitch as well. So he'll be trying to live up to the to that hype. But no, nah, I, I love it. I love I love crowds. I love, you know, I've always 
sort of, sort of love putting on on the show, whether I'm play, playing footy. Uh, you know, the bigger the crowd, the, then the bigger the, the show I'd want to kind of put on and sort of, you know, sh- show off. And in in but um, you know, this is boxing, so it is. Uh, you know, you're you're going in there to, uh, you know, obviously you could get hurt, but again, the crowd is just gonna sort of intensify the moment and the experience so now we're going to love it and i've seen the alice shows and the crowd knows how to get into it so hopefully me and mitch can actually you know live up to that hype of this is going to be the best celebrity fight that alice has so far so yeah i think we will live up to that hype well i i mean i i would have to think so as well to be honest i, I think you know you're both both pretty um pretty good boxes and it's it's going to be a really great show for the people live in attendance and the people watching live on, on game face as well it i know we haven't got to the weigh-in or the fight itself yet but so far the experience is it something that you think you'd want to do again uh yeah most definitely man yeah i want to i want to want to get a few fights under my belt um and then yeah i've i've spoken the topic i was like oh you know obviously we're, we're at the very start of uh of a boxing sort of career um but even to get to the point where you know have, to have a pro fight would be amazing to check that off the, the life list um yeah. and whilst i'm still you know i'm still young enough to to move pretty pretty well uh to have a pro fight you know or how, how many pro fights you know I can end up having would be amazing it's um, it's something that is you know it seems to be very feasible for both you and Mitch you know the the prospect of uh, potentially turning pro at some point um, which makes for you know why it's such an exciting matchup uh, we can't wait to see you get in there and uh, we wish you all the best in the in the rest of the lead up I'm sure camp's going to be starting to wind down over the next week or so but we're looking forward to seeing you at the weigh-ins and of course the Melbourne Pavilion on the 29th. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Delroy Berryman, thank you so much for joining us. We will we will see you soon, I'm sure. All right. Great. We'll see you in Melbourne, eh? Good man. See you there. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Have a good see one. See you later. Bye.